since missing 23 with that hamstring injury. Man, he really seems to be in a nice flow right now. Durant got all the way to the bucket and he'll go to the free throw line. Kevin Durant drove to the basket. He got hit right there on his left leg. Colliding with Trevor Ariza, Durant made his way into the Brooklyn locker room. He missed both free throws, so you know it was bothering him. He tried to walk up and down the court a couple of times. You know, and they're going to be extremely cautious with him, understandably. The Nets lost a close win to the Heat thanks to a Bam Adebayo buzzer beater, but guys, that wasn't the major loss. It was Kevin Durant leaving in the first quarter with a left thigh contusion. Coach Steve Nash says Durant will be reevaluated today. Stephen A., can Kyrie and Harden get to the finals without having KD? No. I've said it on many occasions. I'll say it again. Start off the show saying it. I'll say it again. Uh, it's not going to happen uh, because of the way the Philadelphia 76ers look and the way the Milwaukee Bucks look. Uh, Harden and, and Kyrie are great. Kyrie is box off as far as I'm concerned. He's the number one attraction for me. He's my favorite player to watch this year. He's been absolutely, a, he's been an absolute showstopper. He's just nasty. No question. But come playoff time, when you're preparing for a best four out of seven, I'm thinking along the lines of the size and the defensive prowess that both Philadelphia and Milwaukee bring to the table. And I'm saying that the X factor in it all would be KD because they have neither team has any answer for Kevin Durant like no one else in the NBA has an answer for Kevin Durant. He's simply that lethal. And I think that with him on the court, the Brooklyn Nets obviously go to the finals and should be favorites to win the chip. Without him, I don't think they get out of the East. I just look at it, and even though I like what, what, what they've been doing, Joe Harris has been doing, Landry Sherman dropped 30 the other day. I like what he's been doing. I'm just looking at them collectively and I'm saying it still comes down to the absence of Kevin Durant. If you don't have him, you don't have a replacement for him. And that's why I don't believe Philadelphia or Milwaukee, uh, the, the Brooklyn Nets would not get by both of them. I just don't see it. Uh, I might not make them the favorites, but I can't say they can't win without KD because I saw them win a lot without KD. Stephen A., they went from being a team before the Harden trade, I thought, Mm, not enough. Like KD and Kyrie, I thought, mm, what you're saying about these other teams in the East, maybe they could do it, but I might like the depth of the other teams a little bit more. Once they got Harden, they had no KD. It's like they couldn't lose. They, got, they basically got to the best record in the East without KD, with just Harden and Kyrie, and sometimes it was just James Harden. Even when they go on the, to, to the West Coast and play the Blazers and the Jazz. No, I, and, and look... Are they going to have matchup problems with Embiid? Well, who's not? But you're still counting by twos with Embiid for the most part. If he's getting three, I mean, he can shoot the three, but given the number of threes he's taking, he's getting three the hard way. He's not, he's not bombing from three. Um, uh, so, yeah, they would still have chances in that matchup. Absolutely, especially with Joe Harris, who's actually the best shooter on the team. And they have bigs who can play, like big bodies who can play. Of course, not a match for Embiid, but Claxton and, and Blake and guys. They have DeAndre. They have some bodies they can throw at him. Sure. Now, what you're saying is with KD, they win. No doubt. If everyone's healthy on the Nets, including KD, ain't no one stopping them, including the Lakers, given the way they improved on defense and the way I saw Harden and Kyrie dominate the league without KD. So you add KD, I'm with you. But even without KD, they're one of the front runners in the division. Them, the Bucks, and the Sixers. It's going to be one of those three teams, most likely. Yeah, yeah, they can do it without them. Okay. We shall see. Best 4-7. Um, they get an opportunity to prepare for you. We've watched uh, Miami beat them. We beat Milwaukee. We talked about bubble play, but Miami's perimeter shooting basically sealed the deal. And we know that KD, uh, I'm sorry, that Kyrie and James Harden are capable of doing that. But I just think that when you look at the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, according to Joel Embiid, and you'll see some of my interview with him tonight um, on Sports Center with Stephen A. leading into the game tonight. Uh, Wait, where is see, it? Where is it, Stephen A? Where's the on interview? ESPN. It'll be on ESPN tonight on uh, my pregame show, Sports Center with Stephen A at 7 o'clock. And right. then tomorrow the interview will air in its entirety on Stephen A's world on ESPN+. Plus. But you, <laughs> but but as he as he mentions, we don't have one defensive player of the year candidate. We got two in me and Ben Simmons. So, I mean, when I think about it from that perspective and I think about how formidable Joel Embiid has been with the shooters that he's been surrounded with, 
with the way that Doc Rivers and his staff have Tobias Harris and Seth Curry and others playing, I just think it's too much of an it's too much of an ask for Brooklyn to come out of the Eastern Conference without um, KD. And I'm going to reiterate, I think Julius Randle uh, right now, uh, the way that he has been balling with the New York Knicks, uh, you know, I think that he's an MVP candidate, even though not a top two one. And I think that when you look at uh, Tom Thibodeau, I think he's a coach of the year. And if the Knicks make the playoffs and the Nets don't make the finals, the New York Knicks will be considered a success story and the Brooklyn Nets will be considered a failure. This is what I have to say about that, Stephen A. I saw I James that- Harden take a Daryl Morey put together team and a, and a, and a uh, Mike D'Antoni coached team. I saw James Harden take a way undermanned team, way undermanned, no Chris Paul, to seven games against KD, Steph, Clay, Dre, everybody. And without Chris Paul, they still had a chance to win the game. They had a historically bad shooting night. That's not accurate. Chris Paul accurate. got hurt. Chris Paul got hurt in game five. Yeah. Okay. They lost game six and then lost game seven. Right, but I'm talking about game seven. I'm saying, well, I'm saying I saw they, but, but Chris Paul oh, was yeah, there. Oh, yeah, I understand. No, no, I get it. I get it. But I'm saying he played without Chris Paul, had an all-time bad shooting night, Harden and the team. At one point, it was 0 for 27 from three. 0 for 27, lost by single digits to that Warriors team. No one came close to, to sniffing that Warriors team except that Houston team that almost beat them. Now, I saw Harden do that, right? Okay, you mean to tell me Harden with Kyrie? Irving, if those guys can stay healthy on this team with a shooter like Joe Harris, Shamit, they have guys has no shot against these Eastern Conference teams. I don't see no, any say Warriors no in the East. I didn't say I, no shot. I said I'm I'll not say, picking them to come out of the East. Oh, but I'll, well, can they win? I think they They're certainly not can out of the win. East. And I think this is what it's going to come down to if there's no KD. The same thing I've been harping on the whole time. Can James Harden stay James Harden in the playoffs when it matters most? Stephen A., you might be right. Maybe they can't win. But if they really can't win, it's because Harden didn't rise I've to the occasion. Told, he plays like he played in the regular season. I, they can definitely I've win. Been, I've been told I can have an afro and a hairliner to move two feet forward if I went to hair club for men. Anything's possible. Well, if you want I mean, that's go. not what we talk. That's well, not what we're talking about can. here. That, 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 that's not what we talk, That's not what we're talking about here. We talk about who you think is going to come out of the East. Right. They ain't going to be the Nets without KD. Well, if you want it, go. And if they want it, Harden better go to the equivalent of hair club yeah. for men. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because if yeah. he plays like James Harden, they could beat anybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's evolved since hair club for men, but I'm glad we're giving them a lot of press. I'm uh, the Nets big three I'm haven't go. played. <laughs> haven't, no, you're not. Okay. Haven't played together on the court in over two months, February 13th. They've only played seven games together the entire season where we've had all three. Gentlemen, more with KD. Let me share this with you. I want to know if you think it's a little shade or not. So appearing on the Million Dollar uh, 